And Mr. Call, for the purposes of the 10th schedule, it makes no difference as to whether the rival faction which has emerged claims to still be within the fold of the erstwhile political party or forms a new political party in the legislature. It makes no difference at all. Once the 10th schedule, uh, the, the 10th schedule uh, attaches a disqualification, the moment you have a rival faction, unless you make out one of the defenses, and it makes absolutely no difference whether you are saying that, well, we, we are in the same party. We are only saying that we represent the same party. Here, all the dates you have given us make it very clear that there, there is a rival faction. From the 21st, 34 MLAs represent a rival faction. They say, well, there is, we are the Shiv Sena. There was a great deal of discontent because you teamed up with the International Congress and the uh, NCP when you were ideologically opposed to them. That we had a pre-poll alliance with the BJP. They're fair enough. That's their contention. But does that obviate the fact that this is a rival faction within the meaning of the 10th schedule and a split within the meaning of the 10th schedule? I, I, I was just coming to that. That's why I said three different authorities, three different provisions. I'm not for a minute suggesting that 10th schedule has a bearing there. At all, as far as the election commission is concerned, the third issue I'll just touch on, my lord. And, and and you know, a split does not postulate that people who are party to a split leave the party. It may be that the people who split sometimes leave the party, but otherwise, the ten schedule will also operate where a group of persons, whether minority or majority, uh, say that we belong to the same party. Yes, yes, my lord. And though you have constantly said that you know the uh, Ekna Shinde faction was the majority and the Uddhav Thakare faction represented a minority after the 21st. It makes no difference to the application of the 10th schedule as to whether what who remains is in the minority. Yes, yes. I know that. I'll, I'll now answer that. So one, my lords, the governor, as far as the flow test, the election commission, which looks at everything, including the legislature party, the political party, which according to us are integral. You can't segregate them and comes to a conclusion which rival faction or splinter group should be recognized as the party. Then comes the issue of the scope of 10th schedule. Now, my lords, as far as the 10th schedule is concerned, an attempt is being made to place before your lodges to say that this was only the legislature party, this was not the political party, and in 2-1-B, what is mentioned is the political party and not the legislature party. And in Mayavati, your lot have said that it is not the legislature party, it's the political party, which is mentioned in 2-1-B, and it can only be read as the political party. This is what is your what, what your lot are told. Now, Malaj, I have never ever said that the two are different. Our argument right through has been that this decision of the legislature party has the authority of the political party, and the only interaction that a speaker has while deciding on whether 2-1-B has been violated or not is his interaction with the leader of the legislature party and the whip appointed. Because conventions have also shown, and I'll come to those specific Maharashtra assembly rules have not been shown to your lordships. The members of the legislature party appoint the leader of the legislature party. The leader in turn informs the speaker about all posts, all designations which necessarily implies also about the whip who's appointed and any change in that. Even when the defense of para 3 existed, when the defense of para 3 existed, there were only two defenses, para 3 and merger in 4. Even when the defense of para 3 and split existed, the Supreme Court in Rana said that the speaker cannot embark on any independent inquiry as to what has happened within the par political party in a split within. He will only for purposes of death disqualification take a prima facie view. In any case, that is today academic because para 3 is gone. Now, what will the speaker today look at? The speaker under 2-1-B will look at who has issued the whip. What is the direction? Now, as for us, the whip as on 21st is not Mr. Prabhu. And we are not obliged to follow any direction of his. We are not for a minute suggesting, in fact, our contention has been that the speaker cannot determine. Your lodges are absolutely right. The speaker under 10th schedule is not required to go and determine whether a political party is split or not. That is the EC's jurisdiction. 
all that they look at is which are the set set mode the set mode is a speaker doesn't embark on finding out in the lacks of membership who is the political party who was expelled who was not expelled his interaction is with the essentially the legislature party now the problem which comes in the argument of the other side is to say no the word mentioned is political party and since the two are separate you are only relying on the legislature party that's not our argument the symbols order para 6 and 6a categorically provides that even for the continued recognition of a political party its vote percentage its elected representatives its elected members of parliament are all important to determine the existence and continuance of a political party so when you say this is legislature this is political that's an artificial distinction you are drawing according to us according to us that legislature party has the political authority of the political party and that has been the convention right through and i'll show two letters one is on record one is not every time that a whip is communicated to the speaker it's the legislature party which communicates the whip to the speaker <laughs> So this argument which is sought to be made is that Mayavati said it's only the political party, you are the legislature party, thus you've incurred the wrath of 2-1-B. Can we see the rules of the Maharashtra legislature? Yes, I'm, 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 I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful. Those rules are very, very important. Yes, yes.